Hi everybody and welcome to today's version of How Do I? Today we're going to answer the question, how do I send an encrypted email? A couple of different ways to do it. I'm going to start with showing you the Outlook desktop client. Using Outlook, there's a couple of different ways. You send it who, you type in your normal message, type in a message. All you have to do is go into your file menu, choose encrypt, and you have three different options. I have a couple of accounts I work from, which is why I have both of those there, but normally you'll just see the primary one that you use. Unrestricted is just like normal that you're used to. Encrypt only, do not forward, confidential all employees, and then highly confidential. I'll show you the differences between those, how those show up. One other thing to keep in note is that you can also, from within the message, instead of going to file, you can simply go to options, and you're gonna see that there is an encrypt option here. Pull that down, you have the same options. Encrypt only, do not forward, highly confidential, what not. Now, I've already sent several messages to myself to show you how this works. I'm gonna jump in. First one I sent was encrypt only. So I'm gonna open that one up. You'll notice I can't read it. It says, hey, you need to read the message. Click on the message. It takes me, if you notice, Outlook, Office 365. It says, give me a one-time passcode. I'm gonna ask for that. It'll ask me, I can keep the signed in. Not gonna do that, otherwise it would mess up the example and I wouldn't be able to show you. You notice it already sent me my one-time passcode. Go into here, copy that paste it and go ahead and continue. Now it's gonna open up the message to me saying that was what I had put in the body. Right here, I can reply, I can forward. Even if I forward it though, you'll notice this message is encrypted. Recipients cannot remove the encryption. That's a good thing. If you're sending it to somebody encrypted, you wanna make sure they can't remove that encryption either. So let me go ahead and get out of that one. I'm going to go back into the next message. So the next one was I sent was encrypt and do not forward. This one makes it a little more interesting. Same rule applies. I have to click on read the message and I have to ask for a one-time password. Now, if you're sending this to somebody that already has a Microsoft 365 account, they are not going to have to log in and get this one-time passcode every time. The deal with sending it encrypted from one Microsoft 365 account to another is that you're already, they're already inside of the Microsoft 365 ecosystem and they've already been authorized in. So they've already validated they are who they say they are. So for this one, I've got to enter in the message on this one. Go ahead and continue. Again, the same message and I said encrypted and do not forward. You see, I still have the reply all, but no longer do I have the ability to forward. That's really important. That's how you make sure it stays with the recipient only. Also, if I were inside of Outlook, I would actually not even be able to print this message. But the one thing, as with anything, I can still take a screenshot of it. Final thing to tell you is I sent the final message, highly confidential, all employees. Now, I sent this from my tlctech.us, that's the account we used to show off, to a Gmail account and it still showed up. If that's highly confidential only to employees, why can I see that? So go ahead, read the message, click sign in with a one-time password, go back, get that one-time password. They do show up very quickly as you can see and I am doing very quickly as you can see and I am doing this in real time. Go into here, enter in the mess, enter in the one-time password and now what you're gonna see is I don't have permissions. The reason that it even allowed me to try is that there is the possibility that I could have added my personal Gmail account as an employee of the company and I would have been authorized to see, to see that. So again, three different ways that you can send a message inside of Outlook. Do the new message. You can either go to File, Encrypt, choose the options there, or you can simply go to Options and choose the options that way. That's from your Outlook desktop client. If you want to do this web-based, same rules apply. It's pretty simple. You just do a new message, type it, but the difference is you click this encrypt button and it says, how do you want to encrypt it? This will do it basic encryption. I can change it to, again, do not forward, confidential all employees or highly confidential. 
That's how you send encrypted emails on Office 365. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.